Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Lewy is here. This is yet another video about the basics of cancer. And until you get it, we will not stop. We'll keep on doing it over and over so that you can actually understand it. Now, I'm going to talk about the cell cycle and how these cancer cells evade or get out of the cell cycle and they start to misbehave. So get along, stick around, and enjoy this one. Now listen, we have something called a cell cycle. And the cell cycle is basically the mechanisms that regulate the growth, division, and uh, release of the cells into the system so that they go and do different functions. If it's the eye cells, they go and do uh, eye cells. The ones that form nerve cells, the ones that form other things, they go and uh, do this function. So these cells... When they are born from the stem cells, they are released into this cell cycle and they go around the cell cycle getting the maturity and differentiation before they are released to perform different uh, functions. Therefore, before those cells are released from the cell cycle, they must have differentiated for different functions. However, this cell cycle, there are cells that evade this cell cycle every single day. And when they evade, they can start to misbehave and that's where the cancer is coming in. So understand that the cell must go through this cycle to completion get its differentiation appropriate and now be released to go and do different functions. But however, on a daily basis, we release these cells, uh, the premature cells, the uh, mutated cells from this cell cycle. And when you release them, they go out of the cell cycle and they start multiplying so fast for the sake of survival. But God designed the system so perfectly that when they leave the cell cycle, because they are not mature, they are not uh, efficient, what happens is they are marked by the immune cells system. They are put on some flags by the immune system because there are cells that are going to misbehave in the system. And therefore, your immune system comes in and engulfs them through macrophages, through different uh, 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 mechanisms. It engulfs them and destroys them. So your immune system is actually responsible for helping you uh, from getting cancer. So it blocks you from actually getting these cells multiplying abnormally and causing you the cancers and the tumors and even the, the malignancies. So as the cell leaves here, starts to, uh, to multiply, Abnormally, the immune system comes in and destroys them all. However, most times, what, whatever thing that causes these cells to actually get into mutations and leave this cell cycle, which is the lifestyle, the alcoholism, cigarette smoking, sedentarism, eating a lot of inflammatory foods like the wheat, the seed oil, uh, and the sugars, uh, consuming GMO foods that are rich in glyphosate, and doing all these things to, that harm the system entirely, they will start to initiate genetic um, mutations in these cells and therefore these cells will now avoid regulations hormonal regulations of this cell cycle remember this cell cycle is under regulations of hormones so when these cells here undergo mutations and now they cannot respond to the hormonal regulation processes they now start leaving the cell cycle and start now multiplying abnormally that can actually be uh, one of the reasons why we get into cancers now understand this some of these cells can multiply so rapidly because the same same things or lifestyles that are actually causing mutations in these cells in this cell cycle are the same same things that are actually lowering immune system. So when you start lowering immune system, that means you will be unable to actually destroy most of the cells that are coming in, which are abnormal. And therefore now these abnormal cells, because they have also a natural instinct to know how to survive, they start to multiply so fast so that they can overwhelm the immune system. Once they overwhelm the immune system, now they can actually misbehave. They can spread easily, they can spread freely, they can multiply abnormally and then start affecting other organs. And that's when we talk about the characteristics of the cancer cells. And we will talk about that as we finish this uh, uh, video. However, again, the body is designed so perfectly because you have three types of genes that actually regulate everything that is happening in this. So therefore, we have genes that are called the proto-oncogenes. When you hear the word onco, just know that is cancer. So oncogenes are cancer in nature. They actually activate mutations and they cause cancer. But proto-oncogenes, these are the ones that actually prevent you from getting the cancer. So in our system, we have the proto-oncogenes that prevent us from getting the cancers. But the same, same lifestyle that is actually activating this process here is the one that actually activates the conversion of proto-oncogenes into active oncogenes. And now you have cancer. You see that? Number two, in your system, you have something that is called the tumor suppressor genes. Those genes are very important. Why? Because you've already activated the formation of oncogenes, and now the system is being overwhelmed. The immune system is being overwhelmed by the genes, the oncogenes that are actually transforming cells into cancerous cells. And now we step up a little bit. The tumor suppressor genes, underline the word suppressor, 
their role is to make sure that they suppress any uh, oncogenes and any cells that are actually mutating and coming in to bring you problems. So their role is to suppress the cancer cells. So this is very important. And then the last one is the DNA repair genes. From the word DNA repair genes, you already know that these ones repair the mutations that are happening here, causing abnormal cells to come out of the cell cycle and start spreading and causing you the cancers. Therefore, your system has the DNA repair genes. So if you have low amounts of DNA repair genes, of course you expect cancer, right? If you have low amounts of genes that are called the tumor suppressor genes, of course you expect cancer. And if you have conversion of proto-oncogenes into oncogenes, you expect cancer. So therefore our target has to be, we raise the tumor suppressor genes, we raise the DNA repair genes, and we raise our proto-oncogenes. And this can actually happen through just lifestyle modifications, okay? And avoiding some of these things that actually cause you inflammation and problems in the system. So you can actually review the live that we did about cancer and you'll see this, the basics of cancer. You'll see this in that live, okay? And I hope again we can attach uh, the video here so that you can actually go there and just see the basics. Because once you understand this, you get to understand that video even uh, deeper. Now, these cells that are coming out causing you a lot of problems, the cancer cells that are coming out and multiplying abnormally and then affecting other organs because once they spread through the lymph or through the blood system, they start causing you problems, destroying other organs and that's what causes death. They cause anemia. And this causes you death. So people don't die from the cancer cells. They die from the effects of the cancer cells in other organs. Okay. Now, what are the characteristics of these cancer cells that actually makes them so special as compared to other cells? Number one, they have uncontrolled division and proliferation. Proliferation means multiplication. So once they avoid or they evade the cell cycle, they start to multiply so fast. <laughs> and that is actually how they end up overwhelming the immune system. So when they multiply fast, that's what we call uncontrolled proliferation. Okay. Number two, we have they have no cell that they cannot die. They hardly die. Because remember, a cell, any cell in the body has to grow, mature, serve its purpose, and then die. Just the, the, like the red blood cells, which die after 120 days. Just like this. You remember when you said apoptosis? We say this programmed cell death. So every cell has a program. And here we had cells. But because of programmed cell death called apoptosis, they died and left these spaces. That is a natural process. So apoptosis is the body's mechanism of actually destroying the already aged or malfunctioning cells. But these cancer cells are so good that they avoid the mechanisms of cell death. And therefore they live longer. <laughs> and that's a problem. Number three, there's something called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis basically means that cancer cells have the ability to form their own new blood vessels to help them supply themselves with uh, blood, nutrients, and oxygen. And that is a problem because even if you try to block blood supply towards the cancer cells, they can still make new blood vessels to actually make sure they survive. Okay, and then we have metastasis, which basically means the spread from one organ or one tissue to another. And as they do that, they conquer and they destroy your system entirely. And then, of course, as they come out of the cell cycle, they multiply so fast and they end up overwhelming your immune system. So they evade immune mechanisms for both marking and destruction because they are overwhelming. There are many. They cannot be marked. They cannot die. So therefore, they overwhelm the immune system and that's how they start causing you over and over multiple issues in the system. But the most important one and the last one is the genomic instability. What does that mean? Cancer cells are very tricky. So they continuously undergo different mutations every single day. As they undergo these mutations, before your immune system decides, oh, you know what, I want to handle this, they have already transitioned to another one. They're already producing other mutated genes, mutated uh, cells that the immune system is unable to handle. So before it marks them and destroys them, they are already mutated. They are different cells now. And that's how uh, they destroy your system entirely. So these are the characteristics of the cancer cells. And I thought you should know that. So once you know this, you are able to understand that life that we did about the basics of cancer very, very effectively.